Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm back um, with some more purchases because I've not been feeling that well all week. I treated myself to some bits and pieces. Um, not sure whether or not that was a great idea, but there we go. So one of the first things I picked up this, was this morning because I needed a new cutter um, was this tonic, I think they call it like a super cutter or something. So it's got... I think it's 12 by 12, but I tried to fit a 12 by 12 piece of paper in and um, that wouldn't fit. But I think the 12 by 12 papers sort of come a bit bigger, don't they? So that you can um, cut them down. But the idea is that it cuts and it, uh, what do you call it, embosses. Embosses? No, scores. So that one should have scored a line. Lovely. So it scored a nice, I don't know if you can actually see that, but you have to take my word for it, scored a line. And then um, you can remove this. Zoom back in again. And then the orange one that's got on there should be able to go in and cut it. And we will see if it's oh, terrible. Neat enough that it's cut on the score line. Yeah, so it's a bit more accurate. The one I had um, before, I still got it. Um, will be good and useful for cutting big bits, but it's not accurate. You can't tell exactly where you're cutting because you can't see clearly like you can on here. So that's what I was going for with this one. And it'd be quite nice to score my cards as well. It's quite flimsy, um, but I guess the benefit of that is it's nice and easy to store on my desk. And that was 19 99 from Hobbycraft, not reduced or anything. That's just, that's just what it costs. Lifts up like that. And this bit, I believe... Pause that if you wanted to extend your ruler, you could do that. So yeah, got a new cutting board. That's not easy to see, that small height. Um, the other thing I picked up in the range um, was this die set that is reduced. And the reason I went for that, stationery spray index card die set, is because I've got this one, which I showed you before, which is the Oxford Index um, what's it called? Box die set. Um, and it, this one recommends to go with the <laughs> recommends to go with the Oxford Index die. Whatever, however you say, Oxford Index die set box. And I love this one. You saw me use it. I got that reduced to nine ninety nine, which I thought was a bargain. Um, and I've just made quickly up another one. I've only made this with flimsy paper, just because I wanted to match this bit that I've made inside. Um, so. I thought, oh, that'd be good. I'll be able to make some inserts for whatever reason to make little gifts, I think, like recipe cards and stuff like that. Seemed a cute idea. Um, then when I got, got it out, obviously I've tried this out, I saw that the bit that makes the kind of, the make, bit that makes it an index card is actually separate. So you then have to cut another bit and use your knife to cut it off and all that. So it wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be. It wasn't that shape. I thought it was going to be that that shape but still I mean that's the die set that I would use anyway because it's um, a good size to go on a card if I just wanted to make a card and it's got extra little bits but I'll show you and that's what they sort of recommend it looking like I'll show you what the one that I made looked like so I've had to get making one this morning um, and it came out like this so the brown bit is the bit where you cut this bit but then I had to basically cut the rest of that all myself it didn't cut that it only cut this little flap at the top and this is all the bit that it cuts I mean that's very pretty you could put like recipes in there couldn't you and then stick another one on the back and have the recipe written on so it is very cute but I just thought it was going to make that outside bit as well Otherwise, I don't know whether I would have treated myself to it 14 no 4.99 14.99 be craziness wouldn't it anyway that's that so if you're interested in that one have a look in the range um, and then the other things I got were well, from a couple of places actually I went into TK Maxx in my local town one of my local towns and I got these Spectrinar sparkle pens for 6 99 so it's typically 12 99 um, and I've lost my Wink of Stella who knows why I put that so this was kind of an alternative although they're not clear obviously they're coloured um, and I'll show you how they came out so that's like the green one I think I just got a bit too much out when I was trying it out and the yellow and a bit of the pink so got a good a good level of shimmer to them um, and the cute colours that I would use so that was those 
So these are a bit of like things that I bought because I'm feeling sorry for myself because I was feeling a bit poorly, basically. Um, we've got these for one ninety nine Sharpie Gold Pens. Um, and I'll show you how. That's how they write. So I was really happy with that. one ninety nine, typically four eighty. Sounds like a lot for a Sharpie pen, doesn't it? But I like Sharpie pens. You know where you are with them. Um, and my gold pens, whenever I've, the other gold pens I bought just ran out really quickly. So I'm hoping... Sharpie will last a bit longer. Um, and then I got some ribbon for 99p. I um, mainly got this because it's Santa a gorgeous girl. I love my gorgeous girls. And I actually thought this was really cute. So it says gorgeous little thoughts. And it's lovely silky ribbon as well. So I would I would absolutely use this. And you get 10 metres apparently. It's actually quite a good deal. The reason it looks a bit messed up is because it was raining. Um, yesterday so I think my shopping bag got a bit wet um, and then also in TK Maxx I got a pack these came together as a pack and they were 3 99 for a pack of two washi tapes which does seem like a lot doesn't it but they're this extra large washi tape and I was just like oh I kind of want that because that's so my sort of pattern that kind of tartany pattern I haven't opened this one up but you can see what it is MT masking tape comes all well packaged We get this one out whilst I'm at it. Where's the end of it? So it even comes with some little bit of Chinese writing. Who knows what that says? Um, so that's where I did that one. And then this one's sort of like a, oh dear, like a bit of a bubble print, isn't it? But it's so wide that you actually can't um, can't rip it with your fingers like you normally do with washi tape. You need to use sellotape. I like that. I would use that and then die cut it just rip that with my teeth <laughs> so I would put that on something probably come back come back into focus and then I would die cut something out of it that's what I had in mind but you know as I say I would just treat myself to things I quite like those pack of two three ninety nine. so like two pounds each but you get loads of washi tape in that um so that was TK Maxx trying to think if I bought anything else from there but I can't see it if I did um and then also some stuff online um, from Dies to Die For. They were having a 15% off sale at the weekend because it was bank holiday weekend this week. Um, so I got the Concord and Ninth Wreath Turnabout stamp set because as soon as I saw this I was like oh I really want that. Um, you can see I've, I've got this ink that whenever I stamp anything in it it, it turns it that colour but it doesn't matter. So it's one of these turnabout ones where you have to line it up on here and draw in like a sharpie pen, draw the X on so that when you turn it on your stamping tool you actually know where you're at when you're doing it but I'll show you how it came out so I made this card which is your delight that's one of the sentiments so I thought it had to go with like like a thank you card and so I was trying to make it so it's a wreath but I thought you know like a spring summery wreath in those colours I thought and I also added a bit of those shimmer pens to it to give it a bit of, a bit of shimmer so I thought that was cute, like a, a simple thank you card. Um, and I'll show you, that's the, that's the bottom one of those. And for the top one, this is how it stamps out, really like that. You have to draw pencil lines on your paper and then rub them out afterwards. And so I do really need to invest in a half decent rubber at the moment. I'm just using ones like novelty ones that are left over from kids' presents, but really like that as well. So I'd imagine sticking something in the middle Looking to see if I had anything not really like that. I mean, that's where I'd stick it, but that's not a very good thing to put in the middle. <laughs> Little dog. That'd be really random as well. But yeah, nothing like that whatsoever. Actually just sticking, <laughs> sticking something like a nice gem or something in there. You've got that lovely spray like a wreath. So I really like that one. Um, and that was £13. Then was 15% off. Um, and the other thing I got was my hobby craft. You can see it was five pounds. No, hobby craft. Like lawn fawn. Just see happy birthday die cut. Um, and that's how it cuts out. That was just me testing the shimmer pen. That's why it's got a funny colour. But I just thought, how useful is that to have a happy birthday? And it was five pounds fifty. It was fifteen percent off. So that's why I went for that. But yes, yeah, so I just picked up those two. Um, and I also online from AliExpress 
been a bit of a cat lover, picked up all these Pusheen stickers. I can't remember how much they were, they were like £1.50 or something. Let's clear some of these bits out of the way. You can see that you get absolutely hundreds of them and I just love, love like Pusheen things, like beach closed, eating a donut, like licking a lollipop in the city, cute. Oh, and another cat and cat balloons. They're all just gorgeous. I look at them and I'm like, oh. That one is just weird though. Three-headed cat. Not too sure I'd use that one. Family of cats. Fantastic. Um, Yeah, anyway, I could just go, oh, cat mermaid. So yeah, if you like Pusheen and you put it into AliExpress, they've got loads of that stuff. You get absolutely loads in there, don't you? That's your stickers. I believe they're stickers. I don't think I've used one yet because I haven't had time. We now test them. If, if they're not stickers, you know, who cares? We're crafters, we can glue it on. But yes, they are stickers. Um, and on the cat notes, I've actually, I told you before that I'd lost my cat, which was really awful and devastating. So um, I then wanted another cat, really, because just to, partly to make me feel better. And my other cat's just used to having another cat around. He's very friendly and sort of dog like. And I don't know, the house just felt quiet with only one cat. So we've got another cat, but she, little Tilly, lovely tabby cat, but she is not, we put her in a separate room. I read about it and said set up a room to put her in. So I set up a room and put her in it um, with all the bits and pieces she needs. But she is still hiding and not coming out. Um, what are we on? Day three, day four, maybe even. So if anyone's got any tips on how to settle in a cat, she's one years one year old um, and quite nervous. She's been eating. But yeah, any tips would be lovely and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.